Electric bike technology is growing rapidly, offering thrilling rides with a hint of effortless power. Underneath the elegant design and buzzing engine, however, selecting the appropriate motor type. In order to help you in navigating the fascinating world of electric bicycles and selecting the ideal fit for your riding preferences. So in this video we are gonna show you the difference between hub drives and mid drives, breaking down the unique characteristics, benefits, and drawbacks. Hold on tight, as we explore the mysteries of e-bike motors. So let's get started. Difference between hub drive and mid drive motor. Hub drive and mid drive are two prevalent types of electric bicycle motors, each with distinct characteristics that influence their performance and suitability for different riding scenarios. The primary distinction between the two lies in the location of the motor. Hub drive motors are situated within the hub of one of the bike's wheels, typically the rear wheel, though they can also be found in the front wheel. In contrast, Mid-drive motors are positioned near the bike's bottom bracket, where the pedal crankset attaches. This fundamental difference in placement has several implications for factors such as weight distribution, power delivery, maintenance requirements, cost, and overall riding experience. Hub-drive motors, being located within the wheel hub, provide a straightforward and relatively simple design. They directly drive the wheel they are attached to, making them easy to install and maintain. However, this placement can sometimes lead to imbalanced weight distribution, particularly if the motor is mounted on the rear wheel. The added weight at the rear can affect the bike's handling especially during tight turns or when navigating uneven terrain. Despite this potential drawback, hub motors offer high torque at low speeds, making them particularly suitable for situations such as starting from a standstill or climbing steep hills. They provide a more linear power delivery compared to mid-drive motors, which can be advantageous for riders seeking a more straightforward riding experience. In contrast, mid-drive motors are positioned centrally on the bike, often near the bike's center of gravity. This placement results in better weight distribution, contributing to a more balanced and stable riding experience. Mid-drive motors leverage the bike's gears, allowing for more efficient power delivery and torque distribution. By integrating with the bike's drivetrain, they can take advantage of the gear ratios to optimize performance in various riding conditions. This means that mid-drive motors are typically more efficient at higher speeds and offer a more natural pedaling feel since they work in conjunction with the rider's input and the bike's gears. Additionally, because mid-drive motors are positioned near the bottom bracket, they benefit from improved ground clearance compared to hub motors, reducing the risk of damage from obstacles on the road or trail. Maintenance considerations also differ between hub drive and mid-drive motors. Hub motors are generally easier to maintain due to their simpler design and fewer moving parts. Since they are sealed within the wheel hub, they are protected from external elements such as dirt, water, and debris. However, if a hub motor requires servicing or replacement, it may necessitate removing the entire wheel, which can be more cumbersome compared to accessing a mid-drive motor. Conversely, Mid-drive motors may require more frequent maintenance due to their proximity to the drivetrain components. However, they are often easier to service or replace since they are more accessible, typically requiring less disassembly compared to hub motors. Cost is another factor to consider when choosing between hub drive and mid-drive motors. Hub motors are generally less expensive than mid-drive motors, making them a more budget-friendly option for riders seeking electric assistance without breaking the bank. However, it's essential to weigh the initial cost against long-term considerations such as maintenance and performance to make an informed decision. Since they have a more complex layout and are integrated into the bike's drivetrain, mid-drive motors are typically more expensive. While the upfront cost may be higher, mid-drive motors offer benefits such as improved efficiency, better power delivery, and a more natural riding experience, which may justify the investment for serious riders or individuals going on challenging terrain. 
Riders who are seeking a straightforward and cost-effective solution may find hub drive motors to be sufficient for their needs, especially for casual commuting or recreational riding on relatively flat roads. On the other hand, riders who prioritize performance, efficiency, and a more dynamic riding experience may prefer the advantages offered by mid-drive motors, particularly for tackling steep hills, off-road trails, or long-distance riding. Ultimately, the choice between a hub drive and mid-drive motor depends on various factors, including riding style, terrain, budget, and personal preference. Whether you are a seasoned cyclist seeking a powerful e-assist or a curious newcomer ready to explore the world with a little more power on two wheels, making an informed decision is made possible by your understanding of the differences of hub and mid-drive motors. Remember, the perfect e-bike is out there waiting to match your unique riding style and preferences. By carefully considering these factors and weighing the pros and cons of each motor type, riders can make an informed decision that aligns with their specific requirements and preferences, ensuring an enjoyable and fulfilling electric biking experience. Thanks for watching. Comment below which one is suitable for you.